Hey everybody. Hello world. Friends, family, countrymen, fans. I'm Stephen Vance and welcome to tonight's classic edition of my Pop Rock Electric Violin. <clears throat> I'll be with you probably 90 minutes doing a lot of uh, classic rock and old pop and other things that uh, I hope you will enjoy. Got a couple of people on the line already, so let's get started. a fast start. I'm Stephen Vance. If you're just tuning in, it's nice to see Mary and Linda, Roseanne. The Wallace family tree is uh, well represented once again t tonight. And uh, I think while we're in a uh, Motown kind of mood, and since we're practically neighbors, I uh, thought to uh, get into a little Smokey Robinson. Apparently he has a home here. He married a woman from Pittsburgh, has a home in North Park, which isn't far from me. I'm still hoping to run into him someday, but uh, here's probably my favorite smoky tune. Cruising. I think I'll sit for this one.
We are having fun now. Thanks for joining us uh, here in Pennsylvania. To all my Ohio, West Virginia, Maryland, Vir Virginia, District of Columbia, uh, New York and New Jersey, couples and clients. Thanks for popping in. Happy you could join us. This is the classic version of um, my pop rock electric violin. So I'm going to try to do some things that I haven't done uh, before on any of my other broadcasts. So I want to make sure I get to uh, everything. But uh, here's one that uh, goes way back. Listen to the music. Any Doobie Brother fans out there, raise your hands. Hey, Judy. going to concerts, stadium concerts with the Doobie Brothers in Chicago, and I think I saw them somewhere else as well. Uh, I'm going to take these off because I can't see the phone as well, but, you know, always looking for a new look. But uh, as many of you know, today was the, supposed to be, opening day at PNC Park. And that ain't happening. 
but I do want to send out uh, my best wishes to uh, all the baseball fans, the, the Pirates family, my Pirate uh, Fantasy Camp folks, and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get back to that uh, pretty soon. So in my promo, I promised you some Frank Sinatra. So this is probably the number one tune I do at weddings. For those of you who like a little swing in your step. tonight. Hey folks, uh, have some relatives including a big baseball fan, my daughter Katie in San Diego. Every day she walks our grand dog Diesel down to the uh, area outside of Petco Park where you can see right into the park. And those of you who might have watched uh, one of the others I mentioned, Katie went out and bought season tickets to the Padres this year. Perfect timing. But uh, we'll get back to that, and uh, it'll be worth the wait. So also, my godson is here, and plenty of good friends, aunt and uncle. And uh, thank you, Kathy. Mary and Roseanne are here. So uh, I want to keep this rolling and uh, tell some stories on you in a, in a little bit. Here's one my brother Bob went to see, ELO, Electric Light Orchestra. When they were in town this summer, my dad always told me you should learn some ELO. So here you go, Dad. Sorry about that. Hit the wrong button.
that's a foot tapper. A lot of fun to play. Thanks for uh, uh, mentioning, uh, Stacy, that your first concert uh, was ELO, and she thinks she was in seventh grade, and the ticket cost seven dollars and fifty cents. Well, I have you beat. My first concert was Jethro Tall, and the opening act was Livingston Taylor, who was James Taylor's older brother, and the seats were six dollars. <laughs> so. Um, what I'd like you to do is feel free, anybody remember their first concert and how much it cost, please drop in now uh, and make a note of it. We'd love to hear that. Uh, here's a tune by the Beatles. Always got to do a Beatles tune, at least one. I just put this video out uh, this weekend or this past week or whenever that was, a few days ago. Um, and um, it seemed like fitting for these times. But uh, here is Eleanor Rigby. second. Um, so I see Kathy said Three Dog Night was her first concert and uh, Miss Katie Vance it was in sync and she doesn't know how much I paid for the tickets because she was only about 12 years old at the time and I told the story on one, one, one of the other lives. Uh, she didn't know she was going to the concert. I got some tickets, didn't tell her. We told her we were going to my parents church festival and there was a band playing and we were driving through the north side which was more or less on the way to my parents house and we told uh um she looked out the window saw the people and said where are they going and we said oh they must be going to that in sync concert and uh she was like oh i wish i was going and then i pulled out the tickets and showed it to her and uh I don't know what they cost either, Katie, but the look on your face was priceless. <laughs> All right, Ray. Rolling Stones of Westview Park, 1964. Yeah, I've heard about that. That's where my parents met, but it wasn't at the Rolling Stones concert. They met at, uh, at Westview Park. So since it kind of tipped off, let's do some Beach Boys. <laughs> Nice, Lou. I think I've only been in the Civic Arena once or twice when they opened the roof. So, it was a treat.
that tune was called God Only Knows. And speaking of which, I mentioned my godson is in the house, Ben. All I have to say to you is we were on a mission from God. Ask your dad. Uh, let's see here. I pulled a bunch of things that uh, I thought you might be interested in. Uh, we gotta we gotta rock it out a little bit here. I didn't pull a couple of things in that I wanted. Uh, while I'm doing this, I did want to show you. You know, I went all the way with my uh, pirate theme tonight. This was a gift from uh, my office manager Susie Raposa. It's uh, Calico Jack Caribbean Spiced Rum. So that's what my beverage is tonight, mixed with a little lime and uh, uh, tonic water. It'll you know, it's so warm under these lights. I need something to cool off. So, anyway, I have not done this in a while, so let's see what happens. But often people, when they see me with the uh, electric violin and I'm doing rock and roll tunes, <coughs> they ask for this one. goes on and on and on but uh, Led Zeppelin and uh, Cashmere which uh, brings me to another concert uh, factoid might be the worst concert I ever saw Led Zeppelin at the Civic Arena I think it was at the height of their uh, impaired days shall we say 
and uh, I, what a waste of money that was. But uh, they still did write some great tunes. So how about everybody popping in their worst concert they ever saw? We've had people popping in their first concert. So we'll go from first to worst. So, um, and while we do that, uh, give you some time to do that. I am going to do a, uh, now where is that tune? Oh, I see. Uh, here's another classic. Eagles, I promise you some. Great tune, Matt, I wanted to show you. This is a long intro. Obviously, we got my opening day hat, and also I'm drinking Pirate's Rum tonight in honor of opening day. This is called Calico Jack. In fact, I see these texts popping up for Billy Goodrich, who's one of our fantasy campers. If you've seen the commercials, the good guys, the lawyers, the guy with the handlebar mustache, he was on my very first team. And um, it's his birthday today, so the texts keep talking about what to get him and they, I think they've settled on rum, so this might be a good one for the good guy. Welcome to the Hotel California.
to get my pedal working that stops the track. Only some of the pedals are working, but uh, I think I need a sip of that. After that, since I have a fantasy camper on right now, I, I did want to show you. This is something we get every year. We get to pick a shot. The photographers stand around all day taking shots of us, 99% of which we never want to see again. But occasionally we get a good one, so we put it on a baseball card. So that is from the year before last. That's me pitching on the mound at Lecom Park, uh, which used to be called McKechnie Field. Uh, the one day of the week we get to play a game on that field where the Pirates play their spring training games. And uh, the earlier games ran so late they had to turn the lights on for us and they got this uh, great shot of me on the back. You get to put a little bio and I'm not gonna let you see it too, too much. It might be backwards actually, but thought I'd show that to you. Um, so in case you're wondering, okay, Genesis was a con first concert, worst concert, Motley Crue, but Alice Cooper was great. Um, Counting Crows. Um, I wouldn't have guessed Hotel California would be a song to dance to, but why not? Hey, uh, well, I'm trying to do a nice variety of music from maybe, uh, you know, 79 back. And uh, here's one of those. Thanks, Mindy, and I see the rest of the Dressler clan has checked in. <laughs> Got to let's wait for Chuck now. Uh, thanks for coming out. If you want to see some more, this just popped up this afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon, or tomorrow evening at 8 o'clock, I'm playing a virtual campfire. And uh, this was not my event, but it was in the uh, Weekend Magazine this morning. Patty grabbed it and sent it to me. Uh, and uh, I was the first one to reply, so I'll be up first at 8 o'clock. If no one else replies, I might be doing the whole hour. But this is the website. Uh, I'll try to hold it where you can see it. Um, and uh, I also did put it in the email that I got, and I'll be sending out an announcement. But that says threeriversoutdoor.com slash events slash virtual hyphen Campfire again, threeriversoutdoor.com slash events 
slash virtual hyphen campfire. I have no idea what to expect from this, but hopefully there'll be some people watching. Uh, they did it, uh, I guess, last week or a couple of weeks ago, and I think they're planning to do it every Friday night. So who knows? That might be their, my hangout spot for uh, the uh, on Friday nights for the rest of the month. So I hope you're doing well. Uh, we are hanging in there. We just stocked up with $300 worth of groceries. And also for those of you who heard me complaining about the electric bill going up 67% one, from one week to the next, it did go down 24%. So we're making progress there. Uh, let's see what else I have in here that uh, we can get uh, to. So let's do some rock and roll. anthem if there ever was one and sing along I can't hear you so you're not going to interrupt me hi Elise and Lou uh, mentioned Moody Blue somebody else mentioned Fish I never saw them but I did see Grateful Dead and that was probably the second worst concert I've ever seen so if anybody's just joined and want to join in with their first concert and how much they cost and their second concert I did want to uh, sh say a shout out to one of my uh, biggest fans now Mary sent me a beautiful note so thank you very very much i do appreciate that and also i wanted to tell you and the rest of your family how much your family meant to us on harbor street uh 
you probably know, but uh, when your mom worked at that very, very exclusive club, uh, she would occasionally bring home a big bag of dinner rolls. And that was very helpful in feeding four uh, hungry mouths on a uh, very tight budget. And now whenever I go to that club, I always have to have one of those rolls and I think of your mom and all of you. So I do appreciate that. Uh, that's a great memory. All right, we got some new people popping in here. I wanted to do a tune uh, that I'll probably be putting on YouTube tomorrow and also on my Facebook and Instagram pages. So uh, there are over 400 videos on my YouTube channel. You can always go there and pop around and look, uh, make a comment, let me know you're watching. But uh, this one goes way back and one of my favorite slow dance songs at last. One of the things I miss most in this time is not being able to go out and hear other people play music for a change. Uh, it's my hobby as well as my profession. I was supposed to uh, go see Stefan Rombell uh, next Monday, uh, April 6th, at the, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, uh, Club Cafe. He's a French gypsy jazz guitarist who did the music for uh, Midnight in, uh, no, Midnight in Paris, yes, with uh, Owen Wilson, and uh, it was a Woody Allen film. The music is spectacular. Movie, the movie's like, eh, but uh, a lot of great music in there. Sidney Bechet, uh, Rambal, uh, a lot of the old Ange, uh, Angeline Baker, um, really old jazz uh, styles, and beautiful shots of Paris. So... So I'd mention that, and uh, Matt and I are hoping that uh, 
this thing's all over by the end of June, so we can go see Jason Isbell. If you don't know him, go look him up. One of the great songwriters of our time. Uh, he'll be in town June 26th, and uh, you, his Nashville record is the, the latest recording. So, uh, so let's rock it out a little bit more. This one's uh, from uh, another favorite rock and roll guy, Tom Petty. Something for everybody here tonight. Uh, I know I'm almost forgot. <laughs> I'm going to the Jason Isbell show with Jeff and Judy. Uh, so we are hoping to hear that. If you only hear one song of his, uh, look up If We Were Vampires. Uh, Judy called it the saddest love song she's ever heard. Um, I want to give a little uh, shout, shout out of love to a couple of uh, big supporters of mine, Bella Sarah Event Venue. They are doing uh, takeout every Wednesday of some great Italian food. Uh, one of my favorite places to play because the food is so good. Uh, so look it up on their website, uh, Bella Sarah Event Venue. Uh, I think it's Bella Sarah Pittsburgh. Uh, they're not hard to find, but uh, they have a full menu chicken Romano and all kinds of side dishes. And also Bob Sendall and All in Good Taste Productions are doing the same thing. I think it's on Wednesdays also. And Bob is amazing. Uh, Sharon Stone used to fly him out to her house to cook her Thanksgiving dinner. And I remember the very first meal I ever had of his when I was working a gig, just amazing. But they also have a full menu. Uh, I think it's AIGTP.com or just look up All in Good Taste Productions. Uh, and if you're especially on the north side, that's where they are. Bella Sarah's down in Cannonsburg. So, so if you're in the south, look them up. Um, let's see. Well, let's uh, turn down the lights a little bit. 
it's getting late. You might be on your second cocktail, so we'll do something you can dance real close to, which I forgot to put in this playlist. Uh, I thought, well, I'll just make it a separate playlist and then didn't put a bunch of things in. Just take a second here. So if anybody's seen Eric Clapton, you'll know what this one is. There we go. Wonderful Tonight, or as it's often referred to as You Look Wonderful Tonight. Hey, uh, I'm Stephen Vance. If anybody has tuned in and have no idea what's going on here, I'm doing my electric violin. This is the classic edition, everything from about 79 back. Uh, we've been doing Motown, Sinatra, Dean Martin, uh, classic rock, Led Zeppelin, Beatles, uh, Boston, and on and on and on. Thank you, Fred, an old high school mate. Uh, another Spring Hiller has checked in. Uh, on Sunday, uh, PittsburghBridalShowcase.com, we're doing another live version through their um, Facebook page, actually, Pittsburgh Bridal Showcase Facebook page. There'll be a bunch of vendors talking about what we do. 
Uh, then right after I do an hour or so of wedding music. So if you are getting married, know somebody who's getting married or just want to listen to a bunch of wedding music, uh, tune in, go to the Pittsburgh Bridal Showcase Facebook page at noon for that virtual bride show. And then right after I'll do an hour of uh, wedding music favorites. So here's one I have not done in a while. So I'm hoping for the best, uh, the zombies. the season that's a perfect segue into our sub theme tonight baseball um, you know the, the greatest moment in uh, uh, baseball history and probably Pittsburgh sports history is game 7 1960 World Series that's Bill Mazeroski number nine I uh, just happened to see you some of it uh, the other night, it was on uh, AT&T Sportsnet. This must have been one of those giveaways at uh, PNC Park. And somehow it came into my possession. But I got to meet Bill. Uh, my parents attended the game. So every time they had a sh somebody would hit a foul ball into the left field stands, that you could see the bleachers where my parents were sitting. You can't pick them out. But uh, we are missing uh, opening day today. Who knows when that will be. But uh, we're looking forward to when we get back to playing ball. Um, I think uh, one other time I did this tune and uh, just happened to mention it, uh, the band that changed my life. 
Um, I still remember standing in the kitchen hearing this band for the first time uh, on the radio, and uh, I, you know, it took several years to get back to playing the violin after I quit, but they were always an inspiration. So to Robbie Stein, Steinhardt in Kansas, I thank you very much. And here's a, a favorite. Dust in the Wind. Hey Fred, I hope you got the violin out. You uh, said you might after the last time. So if you need any help, call me. I just, I love helping people get back to it or get started. Young people, today uh, there was a message uh, from a mother who said their daughter's bridge broke. And so I offered, told her where she could get one. I offered to do a Zoom thing or a FaceTime thing to show her how to put it on. It's not very hard. Um, you know, I consider this to be my superpower, playing music. As I always say, I make people sing and dance, laugh and cry, remember and forget. So hopefully I've made you do at least one of those so far tonight. And uh, it's, you know, a tough time right now because there are no gigs. Uh, I might not play again until June at the rate we're going. We've probably rescheduled already 40 weddings in the past couple of weeks. So at the end of the day, I go off for a long walk to decompress, trying to keep everybody organized and pointed in the right direction. And hopefully it'll be over soon and uh, we'll have some fun. So uh, maybe this one will make you dance. I always say this is the one that gets the most physical reaction, the heads bobbing, the toes tapping, the dancing around, the hip shaking. Here's Queen and crazy little thing called love. 
and watch Bohemian Rhapsody. Great movie. three more tunes uh, and uh, do a little variety but uh, most of you have met our family mascot who I haven't introduced yet tonight so this is Z the penguin uh, as you can see he's following the CDC guidelines he doesn't trust us and uh, as you can see we he has a very <laughs> a rich life in our imagination say something Z <laughs> okay thanks for stopping by Z all right, so uh, don't forget to go to my YouTube channel, also Instagram. Those of you on Instagram, uh, go to uh, Pittsburgh Wedding Music. I post uh, most of my videos there. I make announcements of all sorts, and I'd love to see you uh, interact with me there, too. So, it's not September, but it's still a great song. Here's Earth, Wind, and Fire.
that doesn't get you moving, I don't know what will. But uh, thanks, Nikki, talking about some of our upcoming weddings. Uh, and Diane, thanks for sharing some things. Uh, I'm getting a nice little following from the Strawler family, too. So it's nice to hear from all of my old uh, Spring Hill friends, uh, especially a lot of friends of my parents, um, you know, that uh, we spent so many great times with. Hey, uh, and Cousin Sue, yes. Uh, hope all is well down in Virginia. Uh, as you can see, I got to represent, even though I have uh, couples and clients down your way. Um, but uh, it's all good. Hey, um, you know, I did uh, call this the Wayback Machine. And I know I saw this band at least once. Sometimes it's hard to remember. And one of my favorite things about doing it right here is that I can play with no shoes on. We have a big cushy rug down here. I'm not going to show you my feet, but uh, it's just a very relaxed atmosphere. And uh, I enjoy being with you. So, talking about rock and roll anthems, this is the big one. Play it all the time at weddings. Great way to end the night. We're not quite done yet, so don't go anywhere. But here we go with Journey and Don't Stop Believing.
not done yet. I have one more for you, but I want to make sure I get all my uh, announcements in here. Um, let's see here. Obviously, we have our baseball theme going, uh, YouTube, Instagram, Pittsburgh Wedding Music. Don't forget about the uh, campfire tomorrow night, virtual campfire, 8 o'clock. Go to threeriversoutdoor.com slash event slash virtual hyphen campfire, if you can see all that. Um, if you just go to threeriversoutdoor.com, I'm sure there's something on there that'll allow you. I should be first up 8 o'clock. I might only have 10 minutes. I might do the whole hour if nobody else signs up to perform. And Sunday, I'm at the uh, Bridal Showcase, Pittsburgh Bridal Showcase uh, on Facebook for the first hour from 12 to 1. And then for an hour after that, I'll do a wedding music thing afterwards. So uh, if you, you find that interesting. Uh, next week, uh, let's see, I haven't done a Monday night or a Wednesday night yet. So I'm trying to move these around and see uh, so everybody gets a chance to join in. Uh, I'm thinking about a classical night and maybe a fiddle night. Uh, if you have any preferences, you can post it here or send me a note through Facebook. And, um, well, that, that should about do it. Thanks to all the Spring Hillers, the North Catholic people, the uh, relatives, cousins, aunts, uncles, uh, children of mine. Uh, my wife, Patty, and uh, Jake uh, brought home some dinner, so I'm going to step into that. I'm going to finish my uh, Pirate's Rum and tonic here, and uh, then relax and watch Ozark. So I've been trying to give you some hints of things to watch if you're bored and you need some new stuff. Uh, we're in the middle of season three, so that's a, a, been great. But start at the beginning. What a weird bunch of people. Um, so anyway, hi, Joni, whoever you are. Uh, you came in right at the end. But I'm going to do one more, one more tune. Yes, Harbor Street Rolls. Uh, it was a great place to grow up. Uh, another Beatles tune, uh, kind of appropriate for this. Hopefully this will allow you to decompress and another great one to sing along to. Here's Let It Be.
thanks again. You're welcome, everyone who commented and uh, probably be next Wednesday night. I'll do it again because I'm on tomorrow night and Sunday. Take a couple of days off. Don't want to wear you out. So until then, peace, let it be, and let's go Bucks.